All right, now staying in Victoria too, I'm joined by the Australian's Victorian political reporter, Rachel Baxendale. Rachel, welcome. I tell you, you wrote a cracker of a piece today on the front page of The Australian. This is your exclusive about the latest branch taking allegations inside Victorian Labor, this time specifically branches in the seat of one of the Premier's strongest allies, Climate Action Minister Lily D'Ambrosio. Pretty extraordinary stuff, allegations about dead people having signatures forged to stack out the branches. What can you tell my viewers? Yeah, indeed. Um, I guess the sort of important and interesting part of this story is that even though it seems to have been an open secret within the Labor Party for decades uh, that there was um, the, the, the branch stacking in the Labor Party wasn't just restricted to Adam Somirek's um, uh, his, his faction of the Labor Party, of course. Adam Somirek uh, lost, was expelled from the Labor Party by the Premier. Uh, two of his close factional mm -hmm. associates, Marlene Kairouz and, um, and, and Robin Scott, uh, were forced to resign. This was in 2020 when that scandal broke. Uh, and then a year later, uh, Luke Donnellan, um, their factional associate, was, was forced to resign as a result of evidence that was given uh, by Anthony Byrne, of course, who, who was a federal MP who had been their ally but kind of turned snitch. Um, and, and there was some sort of footage that was key in, um, in the undoing of those people. Uh, but essentially, um, essentially in all of that, um, Daniel Andrews used that as an opportunity to launch two inquiries. He got Steve Brax, uh, the former Premier, and Jenny Macklin, the former Deputy Labor leader, uh, to do an audit of memberships in Victoria. Um, and interestingly, even though... And, and the other thing he did was to, uh, to refer the matter to IBAC. Um, and even though uh, the, the result of that, that audit that Jenny Macklin and Steve Brax conducted was that uh, this branch, which uh, Lily D'Ambrosio attempted to distance herself from today, but it was meeting in her office in 2019, uh, it was referred to in some of the documents that I've seen um, as the D'Ambrosio sub-faction of the socialist left of the Labor Party. Um, people have just openly laughed, Labor Party people who I've spoken today when I've told them that, that Lily D'Ambrosio was attempting to distance herself from this branch. But the finding um, was essentially that um, only 13 of those members uh, remain of a previous 132 um, after that membership audit. So even though um, we've only got 13 um, legitimate members who've survived that audit, there was um, no further examination from Brax and Macklin or from IBAC or from any other part of the Labor Party into why that might be the case. I guess the issue is, and, and we talked about it at the time, we didn't have the proof you've got now, that the Somurek hit was a hit on the right of the Labor Party. It was designed to basically remove all opposition to the Premier's left faction. Well, that was highly successful. I mean, the right is basically out of power. Uh, in Victoria, we know well, certainly so on the successful. weekend at the National Conference, Labor's I'm just going to mention just the national conference uh, will then demonstrate mm. that the left have the numbers right around the country. Um, you fronted the, mm. the Premier's press conference today. You're brave. You put your head in the lion's mouth uh, on plenty of uh, occasions with the Premier. Let's have a listen. I don't think I've ever met anyone more focused on their ministerial duties than Lily D'Ambrosio. She is a person of character and integrity. So, so is he just going to back her in? What's going to happen? Look, absolutely. He's giving every signal that that is exactly what he is going to do. Uh, you know, when it was put to him today um, that there are similarities between what was going on at this Laylor South branch of the Labor Party that was meeting in Lily D'Ambrosio's office um, and um, some of the branches associated with the Somurek faction um, for which ministers not only lost their jobs but lost their parliamentary careers. He completely denied that. He didn't want to get into the details of what was different, but he completely rejected that there was any comparison. 
Um, and as Daniel Andrews does, you know, once he decides that he's going to protect someone, then, um, you know, he will do everything mm. he can um, to, to do that. I'm sure he'll take a leaf out of the Prime Minister's book and call it all a, a misinformation campaign or a conspiracy. Everything you've got there on the front page of the paper, I'm sure that's what it'll be tomorrow. But well done, Rachel. Thanks for your time.